First off, congratulations on the film. I thought it was terrific fun. Um, I feel like your relationship in the film, it shows a different side to Fury because you've suddenly got Mysterio who, or Quentin Beck, who knows everything, and Fury suddenly comes oh, into a world where he doesn't know nothing. So how did that um, impact how you both played it, your relationship on screen? I had no lines to learn. He had, my, he had lines. <laughs> <laughs> I knew nothing. I mean, yeah, there was a lot I used of, the teleprompter. He didn't. And I was, I was uh, <laughs> dealing with a uh, holographic uh, world that I hadn't knew nothing about, yeah. trying to describe stuff that normally is described by a lot of other people. I mean, yeah, right? Did they give you good, like, descriptions of what was going on? Not really, no. See, that's, that's, that's over the that. problem when you're dealing with those. <laughs> no. yeah, when you're dealing with people in the effects department, you go, how big is it? Well, how fast is it? <laughs> and then they're like, actually, well, after maybe the not. Take, maybe not that. Higher. Yeah, maybe not higher. that. Yeah, maybe yeah. a little smaller. Yeah. yeah. And you both, you take on different kind of sort of like good cop, bad cop mentor roles to Spider-Man because obviously Nick Fury's make trying to get him back into work where he just wants to be on holiday, and you're trying to be like the big brother kind of role. Uh, how was your working relationship with Tom Holland on set? Like, was it similar off screen as it is on screen? I mean, as everyone knows, Tom Holland is a real pain in the ass. So <laughs> <clears throat> it's about wrangling that enormous yeah. ego of his and yeah. just making sure he stays where he, you know, says his lines. He's in the right place, job. at the right time, and doesn't turn a flip in the middle of you doing it. That's exactly, yeah. So. But he's an okay kid, you know. Yeah. But. I mean, I, 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 I can't, I, you know, every time I describe working with Tom Holland, it sounds like I'm describing my favorite cake. So. I try and sort of stay away from all the euphemisms. I, I just, I think he's a great kid. I think he works really hard. He makes it easy. Yeah. yeah. Cool. On these films, there's always uh, stuff that doesn't end up making the cut. Was there anything you filmed that uh, you're disappointed that's not in that final cut? Any kind of good hero moments? There's a Mysterio like, shower scene, which I'm bummed about. <laughs> <laughs> With the bubble or without? What? With or without the bubble. Sorry, what? With right. or without the bubble. <laughs> Sorry, what? Yeah, that thing. Um, yeah, I don't know. Yeah, no, not really. I mean, I added stuff. <laughs> Any particular things that's that you're really proud true. of that you added? Really no, I mean, I, I shot here and I shot in Croatia, which is not even one of the locations. <laughs> in a far, in a far, <laughs> in a, in a far away <laughs> Croatia, yeah. And for um, you, it must be pretty good to have to be able to explore different sides of Nick Fury now, because you've had the Captain Marvel, and this is also another bigger role mm -hmm. for you in a Marvel film. Um, is that something you're interested in carrying on doing in the future, or what, is there much Nick else? Nick Fury, or just being in the movies? Just do, doing, uh, do you feel there's more to learn about Nick Fury? Like well, of course sides? there is. I mean, he's, he's, he's got to, you know, retool right now, as he says in this film. Yeah. It's like, I used to know everything, now I know nothing. So now we got to retool and figure out how the world has changed while he was gone and who he can recruit and where he's going to recruit him from.